Hey, it's Anfa and you're watching the last part of the Bodacious Making of video series. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you the mastering session I created for this track. I also removed one plugin, which was generating noise and adding it to the input signal. But I figured that's against the rules I asked and it was confirmed I should remove this plugin. So I did so. It didn't affect the sound at all. Um, yeah, so now let's just take a look at the mastering session for this track. So here is the mastering session. I'm gonna make the, uh, the audio track bigger. This is the exported mix. And you can see there is a DC offset remover plugin um, and an EQ 10Q a plugin that uh, adds a little bass boost during one section of the song. Um, let me just lock this on top. Oh, it is locked. Ah, because I'm using a full screen. <laughs> And as you can see, the automation makes the bass a bit louder during this section and then it backs off to a totally flat EQ curve. So that's that. Then we have a compressor on the master bus and a limiter. And I'm going to disable everything so you can listen. Of course, this is much quieter. Now the compressor uh, doesn't display properly. This is on my laptop, sorry. <clears throat> As you can see, it slightly, slightly uh, reduces the peaks of the drums. And then there comes the limiter, uh, which is setting up the target volume of the whole thing. As you can see, it's peaking heavily during the snare and kick hits. Mm. And there's the EBU R128 mm, meter by Robin Garrius, which helps me assess, assess the level and I'm targeting for negative 14 level UFS, roughly. Here's a Lopez filter that I used to ma assess the levels of the bass. So I just was listening to different parts like this, move this on, and that'll help me um, set the EQ bass gain for the final thing. Uh, but I disabled it in the end because it was just for listening. Um, then I made some, uh, I set the tempo to edit this easier. I set it the start and end, so it'll fade out and, and export the session and now you can listen to the whole thing.
All right, and that is all. Um, I hope you enjoyed this series. I know it was trouble. It was trouble to make. It was a trouble to watch probably because there was a lot of problems with audio and video sync. Um, yeah. Um, but I hope if you watched it, you've learned something um, important, something useful. And if you did, let me know. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.